You do it, Jen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. I've never introed us. <laughs> this team. You got this. So got um this. that Miss Brother teams it for, but not for important screws. It's a big deal. <laughs> Hi, internet. We are important screws. <laughs> Nailed it, you guys. We're gonna do some improv. Um, I have no idea if we had a suggestion yet or not. We didn't. So um if someone in this chat could give us a, just a word in the call. Jess is thinking. Oh, we got it. Based, yes, Incense. based off my okay. studio apartment, not the murder basement. Incense. Okay. Incense. Incense. Yeah. Incense. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. We're going to do some improv. This is a cute little monastery. It's so cute. And like, I know. A, it would be a cute place for us to get married. I know. I, I'm just soaking it in. I'm not questioning. Just soaking it in. Just kind of envisioning the thing. I know you wanted like church, church E, but not a church. And I, I think also know that you haven't actually asked me to marry you yet. I well hint 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 Greg. Uh, well <laughs> Amanda, the hint was, hey honey, let's go look at potential long-term wedding locations <laughs> after we go to Target. And you know, I cannot turn down a Target run. I have I have five new pairs of earbuds, all five dollars or less, because they're gonna break. So they I are. might as well get them, I might as well get them from the the place in the front. So but anyway, I'm I'm feeling, I'm feeling wedding vibes here eventually. Is it me or is it commitment in general, Greg? Well, I do buy the cheapest earbuds that are destined to break, so I'll have to keep buying new ones. So it's kind of commitment in general. Well, I'm, that makes me feel marginally better. Okay, good. But also... We've been dating for three years. Right. Right. Three. You've met my parents and my grandparents. Mm-hmm. And, and I've met your grandmother's, the four boyfriends she's had in the three years that we've been dating. God rest your grandfather's soul. Um, yes. Uh, oh, hello. I thought I heard something about a wedding and I'm, I'm, of course, the wedding planner of the monastery. Uh, uh, Maybe. I'm Paul Maybe. Dean. You, you probably saw my name on the website. Uh, I plan all of the weddings here. You can't bring your own planner. So if you have any questions, I could show you around the pews or show you some of our, we can change out the drapes for either of you. Uh, has, you anyone, better... has anyone died in here? Oh, oh goodness. Am I allowed to talk about the deaths? I mean, you've probably seen a few of the deaths in the newspaper uh, that have been reported. Uh, you've probably seen a few. Up <laughs> to the deaths. It's all working out. Oh, wow. He just dropped. He just dropped dead. <laughs> dead. Oh, still croaking. Oh, wait. He's still croaking. Let me just uh, stomp on him. No one, no one survives my Rice Krispie treats. They are dry. They are yeah. hard. <laughs> Tag out Genevieve and Dan. Hmm. Thanks for coming to the 4th of July picnic. Oh, of course. Look at this spread. What did you make? I made egg salad. What did you make? Egg salad. I made some brownies, but I did make a Rice Krispies treat just for you. <laughs> just for you. Oh, no. A Rice Krispies treat. Thanks. No, it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the sores. Back to the sores. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm. Uh, I've heard about him, and I just want to make sure you you would um you would you know be upfront about it. 
Yeah, I mean, we're aware, of course. No, There's no such thing as bad publicity, we say in the wedding planning industry. So are there ghosts here? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm really, if you want a ghost-related package, uh, we could provide that, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> oh, are you okay? You okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get stressed out when people ask me very, very direct questions, that's all. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Tag out Brian and Dan. Um, Sir, before you get your license, we need to know what is your name and date of birth? (laughs) Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Um, All right. I'm asking for your name and date of. It's not that. Take out, oh. Allison. Um, I'm sorry, we don't have Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Okay, you, you want to know which soda I'm wanting, and you've provided a list of two options. The first Actually, option. I, provi- I provided a list of one option. Take out we Dan. We don't have Coke. Take out Dan. Hey man, what's up? Oh my gosh. What What is, okay, there's four directions, I know that, unless you're thinking like cardinal directions, there's up, down, left, right, northwest. Oh, like, what's up, like, what's up? Up. Tag out, tag out Genevieve. Hey, uh, can I get a light? Oh my gosh. You want to know if I, I'm not a smoker. You want to know why, like why I have a lighter, why I was holding it, why I'm in the smoking area. Oh my gosh, I'm asking myself questions now. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> Cut back to the source. Yeah, I just get a little stressed sometimes. That's, That's all, but I'm yeah, good at my job. I get that, I get that, yeah. So if you could just maybe talk about things without questions, that would be great. What was... What was that noise? Oh, you're probably wondering what that, that sound is. Yes, I am. Okay, stop asking about it. <laughs> I'm guessing owl. I'm guessing owl. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you want to play the guessing game. Uh, you know, I mean, we have a lot of people who live here or visit the monastery regularly, and it sounds like you're hearing one of them. That's all. I mean, um, Greg, just wondering, is this weird, all this weird stuff, does that make it better or worse for our potential future wedding? I think it makes it better. I think if we have stories to tell. You know, it's like we, a rain on your wedding day situation, you know? We, like, if, if we go to okay, an ant, um, okay, is this like a human owl man? Is that what he is? No, oh, I died in the monastery. Oh my God, it's a human owl man ghost. Oh my God. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he was behind me the whole I, time. I, I he's just know. one of our residents. I, I'm gonna point out two things. Number one, he's got he's got a an engaging smile. He's just got, he's, he's got a- he's, Oh, thank you. And number two, he, he kind of, instead of like boo and scaring me, he kind of just sidled up and told me the information I was looking for. So I kind of, I, I'm definitely getting good feelings about this movie. Um, Greg, again, I'm just curious. I thought it was just like a pretty architecture, you know, like, Mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, it's from this, the 18th century and stuff. And so I thought, you know, it's just like pretty, it'll be a pretty place for us to take pictures and show our future kids and stuff. But there have been deaths here. There's this weird man here who has very big eyes. I'm an owl ghost man. An owl ghost man. I'm sorry. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt that you were human um, because I guess I'm an elitist of humans. But Amanda, let's let's look at two things. Okay, let's say we have it here with the owl ghost man, okay. and and the the potential of telling stories about deaths. Or we have it at the Rutherford Hotel downtown in a ballroom with a band. We, we, what stories are there going to be from that? We're going to have stories here. But are they going to be good stories, Greg? Like There's an owl ghost man, Amanda. People have died here. I don't want to die on my wedding night. 
you know, I think I'm going to leave you two here with okay. Owl Ghost Man and let him show you around. It seems like there are little undecided things for things. Okay. And okay. I'll be in the back in the office if you need me, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Owl Ghost Man, I'm just curious. I have a couple questions, but first of all, how are you an owl man? Well, I was an owl. And then someone put a spell on me and I oh. turned into a man. But then I died halfway through in this monastery. So I, I, I was kind of in a transitional phase and then I died and then now I'm in a ghost owl man. <laughs> Why are you guys looking so intently in that direction? Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Don't you see the owl ghost man? How do you know about that? He's he's speaking to us right now. Um, Are, did you work here? I'm sorry, I don't. I'm Greg. This is my no, uh, future fiance, Amanda. Oh, I love love. How wonderful! No, I'm I'm old widow Withersby, and oh, um, oh. my uh, my partner was an Algos man, and he died tragically. <laughs> oh no! We married here here at the um, I, basilica room. Can I can I can I just ask you? I got everyone, uh, everyone else. <clears throat> I thought I was the only one. There's, you're also an owl ghost man? We're also an owl ghost man. Wow, I, I thought it was kind of a unique freakish way to die, but there's another one of me out there. There's another one of me. It's you. Take out, take. Okay, yeah, cut back. So I just so, want to get this straight. You married an owl ghost man that wasn't that owl ghost man? <laughs> well, at the time I married an owl man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I can, they, you've, we've talked about some of the positives and negatives of this place, and you two seem to know this place very, very well. Have any of the deaths that have happened here happened during a wedding or the affiliated reception? Oh, of course not. This is a hallowed ground that's full of love. Are you two looking to get married? I'm, I'm becoming more and more committed to this relationship every second I spend in this room. Oh, that's what, and you know what? I just want you to know, you two, two humans marrying, how brave of you. Good for you. <laughs> I mean, proud of you. I, I do you kind of feel- that much these days. I do kind of feel a worry that I may be destined to be an owl ghost man if I do have my nuptials here in this room. No, no, that's you. You are you are human. You two humans marrying. I think that is very brave. You, Amanda, are you okay? You seem to be scoffing. I'm just taking all this stuff in. It's a lot, you know. I just like. I didn't know if you were, you know, if you were one of those prohumanists. <laughs> oh, I mean, I am. I, I am. I am. I am. I am. Tag out everyone except for Alicia. <laughs> Mom, I, I, I don't know how to say this. I'm in, I'm in love. Oh, honey. I was worried there. You were a very weird child. We always were concerned that maybe it'd be ah. hard to find a lid for your pot, but okay. let me meet there's this more, there's, more, there's more, there's more. She is. She! Oh, that's wonderful. Mom, you're not letting me say what I need to tell you. Is she cold blooded? She. She's a human. <clears throat> Mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a somatic react. It was not, <gasps> not a judgment. It was just babe. A babe, should I come in now? Oh, I'm, no. I'm ready to oh, meet your mom. Oh, you brought God. that was way too soon. She's still processing. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Nice, nice to meet you, mom. If I can call you that. Oh my God! Wow. Jeez. Well, I would say to um, you know, uh, clean your hooves off by the door, but you just got feet, so I hands guess and feet, one hundred percent human. I <laughs> guess just come. I get oh my god. I'm okay, Jennifer. We talked about this. 
What? Oh, I'm just excited to be part of this family, you know? I mean, did you tell her about the ring? <laughs> Why is it waving its arms around like that? Just, we get it. You have arms and hands. We get it. Yeah, walking on two legs. Now, now you're yelling. I just want you to be okay. That's all I'm saying. I mean, sure, in the past times, the before times, humans did mate together. Mm -hmm. but I, we've come a long way as a society. And I just. <laughs> so you told her about the baby. <laughs> come back to source. Come back to the source. So, yeah, that's. We, we Love two well. humans, we, we two humans are going to get married. Um, Amanda, um, this might seem a little weird, but do you mind stepping aside? I'd like to talk to the widow and the out ghost man. I would be delighted because I have no interest in talking to either of these people. So oh, that's, <laughs> goodbye, okay. weirdos. She is what? delightful. What an amazing okay. pride. I used to be an owl. I used to be an owl. That's why you that's why you sidled up to me and had that smile. You must have felt it. I used to be an owl. I do too. That's why I that's why I wanted to come here. I wanted to come here. I've been I've been trying to find the right way, the right way to let her know that I, it was okay to get married. I should have known. Look how big your eyes are. Look at you. <laughs> every time I every time I asked a question, I saw you go, hmm? She every just time. She just thinks that I work third shift because it makes me more money, but it's the only time I can I can be awake and alert and yeah. I start You I st deserve better. Why don't you find a nice no, reptilian no, woman? No, no. Amanda's a dream. She's she's a dream. Well when the kids spit out feathers, what are you gonna do? I'm I'll, I'll be, we're gonna I'm, it's gonna be okay. We'll help Hello? We'll Hello? Help Hello? What? What are you doing in my monastery? Um, my a girlfriend and I came to look at it for our future wedding. Is she human? I thought you were going to ask, who was it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. You're scary. I who are you? To my monastery. Oh, oh okay. Wonderful. Yes, um, she is human. I'm gonna go get her, okay? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get her. Wow, it's so nice to see you. What what did you say your name was? Do you have a vow of silence? You can it's Luella. Oh, well, Duella, it's so lovely. Luella. To you. Lou. Luella. I'm so sorry. Uh, it, it's beautiful what Owl. you've done with the place. August, man. You see him? Owl. Oh, I would do anything to see my sweet owl man again. Human, you keep you keep speaking. I'm trying to speak to the owl ghost. Man. I'm sorry. Will you tell him I love him? I'll tell him at the next owl ghost man meeting or something. Julian? Why did you let these people into my monastery? I didn't bring them in. Okay, they just came in and I walked in. They're getting, they're in love. They're getting married. They got very overexcited, and I didn't tell you. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, this is really weird. You're just standing here clucking. It's. Are you all right? You're having some sort of fit. No, I don't feel well. There's so many humans around. It's just strange. Okay. Well. Sorry. Maybe you should have a snack. Let me get you. Let me get you some peanuts. You like peanuts. Don't you? you like peanuts. Here you go. Open your mouth and I'll drop them in. Let me, let me chew them up. Why? Why would you do that? Why are you doing that? Oh, oh, you just you just feed. Oh, you're more of a whole food food just, feeder. Just okay. Give me peanuts in my hand. Oh, okay. Got okay. Alicia and Genevieve. <laughs> oh, oh, here. Just let me let me just chew it up for you, and then <laughs> and then. And then it'll be easier for you to eat, okay? Um, what? I'm. You better tip me extra for this. Yeah, I mean, 
It's endless apps. Why are you chewing my appetizers before you open get up, them? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. No. This is a health code violation. What the fuck? It's supposed to, it's supposed to make a meal more enjoyable. No, that's not a thing. Here you go, guys. Um, I brought you more apps because they're endless. This this is the sampler platter. That okay. Has the mozzarella stick, gonna, the buffalo. Oh, you're. Just I'm going to take a mozzarella stick and eat it for myself. Okay. My brother, I don't know what he's going to do. I was going to. Uh, oh, okay, I guess you'll figure out what the rest of them are by yourself. It's then. his birthday, and he doesn't want me to do any of the work. Okay. I took him out here. I took him to dinner. I shoveled his driveway this morning because it snowed. It's his birthday, and he That's should be relaxing. Nice. That sounds really nice of you. And Boy. I should be the one doing all <laughs> Let's go to another birthday when I'm turning 14. <laughs> dude, dude, I can masturbate by myself. <laughs> it's your birthday. You shouldn't have to do that. Let your brother help you. Come on. <laughs> Mommy's watching. Cut um. back to, cut back okay. to this monastery. <laughs> Just give me the peanuts. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. You're welcome. Well, nice. Luella, do you sleep here in the monastery? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luella, you're back early today. Oh, Paul Dean. Paul Dean. Oh, Paul Dean, I haven't seen you in ages, darling. It's me, Widow Willisby. Oh, I, I planned your wedding. I'm so sorry <laughs> about it. About your husband. Okay, it was a marvelous affair. Oh, there I'm, were three engagements at that wedding. <laughs> there were. That's right. I, I met. I met my partner at that wedding. Cut to the wedding. <laughs> and I'd like to now say my vows. That's the second engagement in the middle of the ceremony. So, oh, um, I actually, I think we have something a little bit more important. I just asked Allison to marry me. And I said, yes. <laughs> oh okay. Honey. You look at the ring. Do you see the ring? <laughs> it's so much bigger than yours. It's wow. So pretty nice. have a better wedding. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. You, also, he comes for money. Huh? That you're getting married at a place where women were never even allowed to be. Oh, I've never thought about that. Wow, that's a real um, downer. Allison, you're really ruining this for her. Yeah. I was proposing to her, and now you're engaged, and or I was getting married to her, not proposing to her, and now you're engaged. And, and you would bring up that this is a place, yeah. a beautiful place where we are, is actually a place where great harm was done. For centuries, you would bring that up in the middle of, of a wedding? You did that. I just thought you know it's like a little ironic. Um, you think it's fun? It's fun. It's fun. You know, it's like a fun little twist. You know, like tag tag out everyone except Allison. Um, this baby was just delivered. You were one of the nurses in the delivery. Why? Why did you just point out that it's probably going to have a sad, lonely existence and die alone? Why'd you point that out? It's just like a fun little fact, you know, it's like a fun fact. <laughs> it's a seven pound, six ounce baby. It doesn't, it might have love. Why are you playing the percentages here? Well, did you see those parents? She's lying right there. <laughs> they are not in love. They are so not in love. Why is she talking about you like you're not even here, Greg and Jennifer? Cut back to source. <laughs> What a beautiful day that wedding was. Yeah. Paul Dean, I am so curious about what's going on with you, but I know you don't like questions, so I'll just throw out that I'm curious. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. I, Thank you. I remember. I, I'm, I, I heard that, and I know you don't like questions, but I'm sorry, I do have a question. Um, I know there, the whole thing about Al Ghost Man, men, but I can't find... My girlfriend is. Are there any ghost women ever around here? 
You were so close to saying this without asking a question. You were so close to explaining what you wanted without asking a damn question, buddy. Luella, are you a ghost? Luella, that's your name, right? It's Luella. Thank you so much for getting it right. I'm I'm good with names. I'm not Um, a ghost. You're not a ghost. Okay, because I don't know where Amanda is. And I'm afraid she's become a ghost. Well, the monster. Wouldn't you be so lucky? I, yeah, yeah. I well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell everyone here. I'm gonna come clean. Some of you already know I am an owl man. I will eventually be an owl ghost man, maybe if I aspire. Um, it's worked hard. Well, I have so many. I have so many statements that I hope you'll have responses to, but they'll all end in periods. You see. Mm. Yes. Yes. I'll only. I will. I won't ask you any more questions. Is that okay with you? No, that's a question, buddy. Craig, I wanted to know more of your story, but Craig, I'm not I, was, asking. I was crying in the back pew because this is a fucking nightmare. And it's gone from a nightmare to a double nightmare because you're not a human. I well, I am now, but I was an owl. I'm I'm human like. I'm humanish. It's an owl man. Just think about it's an owl. He's an owl man. You would be able to marry an owl man in the home of the owl man. Okay, two things. One, yeah. not saying that I would say yes to an owl man, but uh-huh. you still haven't even proposed to me. Well, I was Greg, waiting. You couldn't do better. Greg, she's a pure human. Yes, yeah, stop judging. Stop judging all of you. Yikes. I love her. Amanda. I love you, Greg. And it's like, normally I'm a, I'm like just into humans, but I can make an exception for you. See, you didn't even know I was an owl man until I told you. Is this why I've never met your parents? Yes. Yes. And and the curse is going to last for years. I got everyone but Allison. <clears throat> Look, I, I want to and I want to invite you home for Christmas, okay? Okay. But um, I have to tell you something. Okay. Um, my parents are both horses. <laughs> They're. <laughs> tag out, tag out, Allison. Dude, what do you mean you don't want to go to the racetrack? We can bet on the ponies. Come on. Look, it's just <laughs> my parents are horses, and. I just, I, it's very, it's that kind of environment is very triggering for me. It's do very. Have some, do you have any information? Can you help win? What? Come on. Not only, not only do you expect me to participate in horse racing of all things. Yeah. But you expect me to cheat at it? No, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. We aren't altering the outcomes. We're just using special knowledge that you happen to have. Tag oh, out, Brian. Son, you broke your leg. <laughs> I think that yeah. means we're gonna have to put you down. But Dad, that's not how it works for for humans. We, I can go to the doctor. No, it'll be too painful. So painful. This is for your own good, son. It's for your own good. It's for your own good. Come <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, back to the source. <laughs> no, I, I'm. That's why you've never met my parents. It's. Um, it I'm, makes a lot of sense. I'm mostly human by this point. Greg, I so you shouldn't admit to that. I love her. I want to spend the rest of my life with her until I can become an owl ghost man and haunt this monastery. And Not necessarily the rest haunt. Of eternity with me. Yeah, not necessarily haunt. Okay, second confession. Okay. How ghost man, do you recognize me? Do you remember? Is this sitting on, No, no. Sitting on a branch, our wings lightly touching each other. Hooter? Yeah. It's you? It's me. You're one true. 
Your one true love. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I'm sorry, Amanda. I used you to develop a relationship so I could get married here, become an owl ghost man, and be reunited with my one true love. <laughs> so will you have your wedding here? Because I could help plan that too. <laughs> yes. You don't love the human? Um, wow, need- that's a lot of information. I need to marry the human to become the owl ghost man to spend all Wait, eternity die? with Wait, with die and become an owl ghost man. He I'll just die, read and had to also. marry the human. You yeah. have to. It's it's a very complicated process. You don't understand. You're human. Yeah, humans are they're slow. Also, I, I just want to say that I would have rather that this was your dad. <laughs> That's our <laughs> show. <laughs> 